Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you are a fan of 90 Day Fiance, particularly, I say that slow because I have a hard time saying it fast and I talk fast, but particularly the season where Angela was on and we got to see her and her good friend or her BFF, JoJo. She referred to JoJo as Sissy. Um, if you witnessed those on the show, and then you found out that they were no longer friends. I'm sure you wondered, just like myself, what happened? They were so close. Angela literally referred to her as, as sissy. So what happened to their friendship? Well, JoJo is speaking out about what happened. And what happened um, in their friendship actually involves Debbie Johnson, Colt's mom. So I'm going to break it down for you guys. The Ashley... The Ashley's Reality Roundup. She put this article out just a bit ago. I read it. Blown away. We're going to go over it. And you guys can leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So, it says here, you know, you guys may recall, Jojo, he, who, Jojo, he, Jojo, who Angela once referred to as Sissy, traveling to Nigeria during season five of 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, to serve as the witness uh, for Angela's wedding to her husband, Michael. Jojo was also there when Angela had her surgery, and to help her recover from her surgery, Angela had a breast reduction, liposuction, um, and she had the, um, the something else, I can't remember what it's called, so I just put it down here after I remember, but she had this weight loss surgery. Jojo went there with her, took care of her for the first few days until Jojo had to return, but Jojo literally did everything for her when she was there taking care of her. And, you know, I watched this and I thought, that is so awesome. JoJo seems like such a great person. She seems like the sweetest person. And it's so awesome when you have a friend like that. And Angela, you know, she has JoJo. So I just thought that was so awesome. But things changed between the BFFs and they are no longer friends. Um, and what went down between them involves Debbie Johnson, who is also another star from 90 Day Fiance. So, JoJo recently took to Instagram, and this was reposted by at Kiki and Kibitz. And JoJo explained that what went down between her and Angela is that they were on a trip. It happened... Back in July, they were traveling to Las Vegas to visit Debbie. During the trip, someone asked JoJo how she knew Debbie. And when JoJo confirmed that they knew each other through the TLC show, Angela got hot. JoJo said she turned around and started yelling, You lying B-I-T-C-H. You would have never met Debbie if it wasn't because of me, you B-I-T-C-H. And she then told me I was irrelevant. She cussed me out in front of everybody. That's what happened. And then she pulled some crap that was even worse. And because of her telling me what she told me, I will never speak to her again. JoJo went on to say that Angela even kicked her out of the hotel room they were supposed to stay in. They were sharing a room and Angela kicked her out and called her back the following day to cuss her out and threaten her. JoJo said that she did save these conversations that occurred between them um, in the event that Angela tried to dispute what went down in Las Vegas. Now, Debbie has pretty much confirmed what went down as well. Back in October, JoJo made a post on her Instagram and it said, Trust me, no one is jealous of you. Facts. If there is something that you'd like to tell me, then go ahead. In the comment section of that post, um, Jojo wrote, obviously, I have an admirer. You all know who it is. And Debbie wrote, apparently, she is more jealous of you. She has shown her true colors, and you have always remained true to you. Love you, Jojo. She screwed up when she lost you as a friend. So, Debbie has pretty much showed her allegiance to Jojo, and she has also kind of backed up that it was Angela who was mistreating Jojo. Um, she also was asked about her friendship with Angela back in October. And Debbie, when she was asked about her friendship with Angela, she said that she's not friends with people who treat their friends like S-H-I-T. 
So there's that. Now, the Ashley pointed out that the Angela has actually found a replacement JoJo here um, on Angela's Instagram account. She has this video with her and JoJo Siwa. I'm not really sure when this was posted, um, but it looks like Angela met JoJo Siwa. How cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't even feel like JoJo Siwa would be friends with somebody that was that mean. Um, I've seen Angela be mean and you know, I love the show and there's been times where I've felt for Angela. There's been times where I think maybe I like her, but then there's times where I see her yell and scream and call people names. And I'm like, that's just a behavior I can't get behind. Like I cannot stand behind someone who treats people that way. Um, so I'm glad that JoJo... Um, has distanced herself from Angela because if Angela will treat her that way, she does not need her. That's not how friends treat friends. So I thought it was interesting that JoJo has finally come out to say what went down between the two. And I was shocked to read what actually happened. I was shocked to read that Angela got so mad because JoJo said, well, I met Debbie through TLC. Angela that ticked her off and she was like no you didn't you met her because of me you would have never met her if it wasn't for me you know and then calls her names like that's not okay you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below watching the show did you guys always get the feeling that Jojo was such a sweet person and that Angela was lucky to have her as a friend because that's always the way that I felt when I watched those two interact I always felt like Jojo was just such a sweet person um, you guys have your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys shocked to hear that Angela went off on JoJo and that's the reason they're not friends? Make sure you give the video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.